Whoa, good morning, my scrumptious ravens. Welcome to day 276 of the Fixing My Life series. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Raven276. Days ago, I decided to try and fix my life. We are in an Uber, heading over to my root canal appointment. And um, if you are new here and don't know what this series is about, 276 days ago, I decided to try and fix my life. I was very unhappy and disappointed with what my life looked like, and I decided to try and do something about it. So I made a list of about 10 to 12 things that I thought were absolutely integral and important for me to implement in my life. Things like improving my sleep schedule, my water intake, level of exercise, you know, how many prayers a day I was doing, things like that. And I decided to track my progress with each of those things. And the goal is that by becoming more conscious of each of these things, I will hopefully develop some good habits and drop some bad ones along the way. So that is what this series is about. Uh, time check, it is 9.40 a.m. And we should be there in the next 10 minutes or so. The appointment's for 10 a.m. They said that I shouldn't be super, super drugged up. They said that and the tooth is um, that needs to be operated on is the is a, is a molar. So there's about three to four nerves in there that they will need to actually take out. So what they said is they're gonna be splitting the tooth open and then they're going to be um, taking out the nerves in there. And then after you know a few hours, they said I should be fine and I won't feel anything because I'll, it'll all be frozen. So let's see, I don't know, I've heard a lot of horror stories about you know, things not freezing right, you being able to feel everything. So let's hope that goes okay, but luckily, I mean, not luckily, but thankfully, my brother is going with me. So, inshallah, it'll be okay. I'll keep you guys posted. You know, you know. I'm just waiting to be seen by the doctor. I just finished filling out a whole bunch of consent forms and all of that. And now we are here. My pupil's very shiny. And it's actually a really nice place. One would be to take the tooth out. Okay. Hi guys. I'm getting all frozen out. Don't mind me. Oh, I feel it. I feel. Oh man. I hurt, guys. They put three injections in me, man. Oh, I hurt. Onto my gums. It really hurt. It tastes weird. You'll be awake the whole time. Yeah. Oh my god. That's the problem too. Is that black stuff is the infection. I feel like the fusing is really kicking in. <laughs> so I'm going to be a full sentence. Roger Federer? What? <laughs> Uh -huh. Canada's best health and dental. <laughs> Talk to your doctors today. <laughs> Talk to your doctor today. <laughs> Ontario Hospital <laughs> Association. <laughs> so this was the old tooth. And this is with the filling and the root canal done. So 11.30, we just got out. And luckily, I mean, thankfully, he was able to do everything one appointment. He said that if there was any leaking, oh yeah, if there was any leaking in the actual tooth. <laughs> let's keep on. <laughs> let's keep the mask on. <laughs> Damn, you sliding over. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me help you readjust. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying, <laughs> the mask really covered it, man. 
Okay, so basically, basically, they said that if there was leaking in my uh, roots, then I would have to come, I would definitely put antibiotics and stuff and medicine in the tooth, and then I have to come back another time. But thankfully, they said there's no leaking, everything's good. So I was able to just do everything, the filling, the um, root canal, everything in one appointment. And then in three weeks, there's a follow-up appointment when I guess they're going to check if I'm healing and all of that. So... <laughs> I don't know if I'm trying to be mumbling, but... <laughs> you're going to die if you watch this back. <laughs> And now we're waiting for Uber. Oh, what? Uber? Say <laughs> hey, Uber driver? Uber driver? <laughs> Uber driver. <laughs> Say, I've never heard of an Uber driver. I've never heard of an Uber driver. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, we're just waiting, for, waiting guys, and... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll check in with you guys soon. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys soon. <laughs> Uber driver. I'm going to an Uber right now across the street. Oh, we're running. We're running. We're running. <laughs> By the time I got home, it was already lunchtime, so I decided to use my lunch to put up curtains. And uh, let me tell you, it looks so, so beautiful. I am so happy with how it turned out. It was exactly what I wanted. Mm, hi guys, I'm actually passing out, so I thought I would do my closer now. Mm, I ended up eating some chocolate chip cookies. Ended up finishing the day with like two bottles of water. I had some hakka food, which was damn scrumptious. Mm. Had some almond milk. The freezing pretty much went away after I took my nap. So after I finished work, I took a nap for a few hours. And over the course of the nap, the freezing went down. And by the time I woke up, it was... Like after 30 minutes it was pretty much gone so around 9.30 I would say the freezing was pretty much completely gone well, 9.45 the freezing was completely gone and then I ended off the night having a second helping of hekka food the milk, the cookies and then I just chilled with my mom which was really nice and yeah today was a really amazing day Got to spend time with Raven Bro, do the frequent root canal that has been overdue for years, and uh, spend time with my mom. And yeah, that's it, guys. So I'm gonna try and get some sleep. As always, I'm wishing your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit a no bad day, peace and happiness and goodness. Please choose to be kind to yourself and to others. Stay safe, my boo-boos. Stay scrumptious, my noo-noos. And God willing, inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video if I'm healthy and able. Take care and pray then.